It's the most beautiful time. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Lauren. If you're new, if you enjoy, make sure to subscribe. As you guys can tell by the title, this is just a Q&A with a Christmas twist. So I asked you guys on Instagram to vote for a drink that you wanted me to make, like a cocktail. And I also asked you to ask me questions. So we have a bunch of questions to answer, a lot of Christmassy questions as well that you guys asked. And the drink that won was like a raspberry, cranberry, rosemary kind of cocktail. I kind of just wanted to use things that I already had on hand um, just to make it easier. We have frozen raspberries, fresh cranberries. We definitely use regular raspberries, but I just prefer drinks with frozen raspberries for some reason. And I, just to be clear, have never made this drink. I'm not following recipe. We're totally winging it here. I have some cherries because I'm just going to use a little bit of the cherry juice for color. Fresh sprigs of rosemary, obviously a glass a muddler, um, I have some Tito's vodka, definitely would prefer like Grey Goose, honestly, I've been hungover on Tito's too many times, that used to be my drink of choice, like Tito's and club with like lemon, like to go out, not just to like sip on, but yeah, we're gonna use it today though, I have some maple syrup, I would use simple syrup or agave, but I don't have either of those, and then I have some champagne to top it off, with some bubbles. Okay, I really have no idea where to start. I don't know how to open champagne. I never, like I don't even, I don't even know where to begin. I'm, I just always opt out. Like whenever someone's like, we have to open this champagne, I'm like, not me. Should I watch a YouTube video? I really don't want this to go everywhere. I feel like that only happens if you like shake it, right? This is um, Josh. Prosecco, Josh is a really good wine, so I don't know. I'm scared. I'm like actually terrified. If this goes everywhere, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh my god. Wow, my heart's pounding and I'm sweating. That worked. I'm like genuinely proud of myself because that could have been a disaster and that was like a really clean pop. Let the frozen raspberries melt for like 10 minutes or so. I'm just gonna put some of those in there. I feel like you guys are kind of far. That was too many. Damn it. I think I'm just gonna garnish with cranberries. And then I'm gonna add like two sprigs of rosemary. I wish you guys could see this up close. Maybe I'll film this part on my phone. Then I'm doing a splash of maple syrup. I feel like depending on the type of fruit you use, you don't need something to sweeten it, but I feel like I need a liquid. I usually always muddle with a little liquid in there. I'm a big mojito girl, so that's why I have a muddler. I'm just gonna splash this with water. You don't have to do, do that, but I think it makes it a little bit easier to muddle if it has some liquid, so. And I'm just gonna mash it all up. The only negative to using raspberries is that they break up so easily, and then when you're drinking through like a straw, they kind of come through the straw. You could always like strain this after, like into the drink, and just use like the juice or use like a martini shaker, which I was gonna do, but it would be like pretty to have like all of that going on. Definitely smells like rosemary and raspberry, so we're off to a good start. Okay, so we have the base of it. I think. I'm gonna put ice in the cup now. Honestly, if any of you guys are bartenders, you're probably like, what is this girl doing? Um, but I'm not like totally clueless with making drinks. I served at so many different places. Honestly, I should make a video and tell you guys those stories because it's hilarious. But in doing that, I did bartend a little, so I'm not like totally clueless. Um, I'm just gonna do like a shot. Two, three, four, is it four? One, two, three, four. I'm supposed to have another liquid. I cannot top the rest of that with champagne. I also don't need the cherry juice. You could easily not do the cherry juice for color, but at this point, I cannot fill that with champagne. Or should I? That'd be a lot of champagne. I'm thinking, yes. <laughs> what else am I gonna do? Okay, let's just do it. Then, I kind of do want to put this through, this, through like a strainer, but Okay. Now that looks pretty stinking good. And then 
I'm gonna garnish it with more rosemary. That is actually adorable. Okay, officially putting my straw in, which means that we get to taste test. A live taste test. I think it's gonna taste good. I think the raspberries are gonna be annoying. Strong. It's definitely champagne forward if I had to um, name it something. I would say it would be better without champagne and to do more Tito's or like a flavored Tito's, like a raspberry vodka or something, and then do club for the bubbles. But other than that, it's good. I also think a fresher rosemary would be good. This is kind of old. It's actually from Thanksgiving. It's just champagne-y. It tastes like, it tastes like raspberry champagne with a hint of herbs. That's like really what it tastes like. I'm gonna put a couple cranberries to be festive. This time for our questions, I'm just gonna like put this stuff away quick and then we'll get chatting. I'm genuinely not kidding when I say I like literally already feel tipsy. <laughs> Here we go. I read a few of them like the first hour I put it up or so, like the first half of the day, but I haven't read them since. I'm gonna bang these out because I'm a talker. If you guys have ever watched any of my Q&As or anything on here before or any of my videos, you know that I'm a talker. Um, so I'm gonna try to like just keep these to the point. I always feel like I have to explain everything in detail. What's your go-to healthy snack? Salty would have to be Fuego Siete Chips with homemade taco dip or everything bagel dip from Trader Joe's. My go-to sweet snack is probably, it's not like a homemade dessert that I make, it's definitely Sweet Lauren's chocolate chip cookies. If you guys have never tried them, can't recommend them more. See like, I just got a chunk of the raspberry, it's kind of annoying. What is on your Christmas list? I filmed a gift guide and in that I put what I asked for. Um, so I'll definitely link that down below. So many good ideas for like, dad's mom's parent like um parents like together gifts grandparents girlfriends boyfriends whatever so um i will link that down below what are you most excited for this christmas honestly not that much i'm looking forward to christmas i guess just because it's christmas and i'm like looking forward to like being home and being with my dad and seeing friends and family and stuff but honestly like Christmas was me and my mom's like absolute favorite holiday and I honestly do want to open up about this in another video so I'm not going to get deep in it here but like obviously just like impossibly hard like this is my first Christmas without her so like every day is like a new emotion a new feeling it's just been a lot um, but again I honestly don't want to get into it right now but I'm excited to see friends and family Christmas I know it's going to be emotional so I'm kind of like excited because i'm grateful to be here and like be able to like enjoy it but it's not going to be like the easiest christmas ever so <laughs> what's your favorite thing about kendra my favorite thing about kendra kendra good question ken so if you guys don't know kendra she's like literally like a sister to me favorite thing about kendra there's so many things kendra if you guys know her personally or like if you have watched videos with her like she's literally like the funnest person she teaches me how to like have fun and just like say yes to everything which i love and she's like the most generous person she's the nicest person like the easiest person ever to get along with and i feel like the luckiest person to like have her as a best friend how are you really i feel like i just kind of answered this like i'm I'm good because like I in general like stay in like positive spirits for the most time and like in general I'm a happy person but like when you lose somebody like the underlying emotion is always kind of like sadness like the moment doesn't really go by where I'm not like thinking about my mom or Lane so it's just like I'm good but like you can only be so good and like good has a different meaning like after you lose people that you love so I'm good. <laughs> I'm trying to be good. What's been your favorite gift that Ben got you? This probably, I don't know. I feel like I'm on a timer because my camera battery is blinking right now. I don't know, probably this. He got me this the first year we were dating in 2012. No, he got this in 2013. 
a year after we were together and I've had it on my neck for eight and a half years, nine years, however long it's been. And funny story, we got in a fight one day um, like five years ago. It was like a pretty decent fight. Like it was a decent argument. And I took it off because I wanted to just like put another necklace on that day. And he saw it on the dresser when he got home from class and thought that it was like me saying like we're done because he knows I never take it off. And like he was like so upset about it and it was really just like me wearing a different necklace. Um, that was kind of funny. But yeah, probably, I mean, this is definitely the most used for sure, but there's been a lot of good ones. On my old camera now, it looks so different. Um, I actually love this camera, but it doesn't do well at filming long clips, so this should be interesting. Intentions for 2022. Um, so I have, I gave myself this year, because everything happened with my mom in January, and then Lane was May. Um, sorry if this is like, all about like I feel like I'm talking a lot about that stuff but I kind of gave myself the year to like really figure out what I wanted to do because after everything happened I like didn't work for two months like while everything was happening and so I basically had to like start at ground zero with my business sort of I kind of chose to do that kind of like needed to and so I was like okay I might as well do whatever I love so I like gave myself kind of the year to like obviously earn an income in ways that I could but also give myself some space to like really figure out what I wanted and I finally have um, like really narrowed it down and I'm just excited to like act on those things and bring them to life you guys will see some of it soon but I know I've been saying that for a while too but like actually it just I'll explain when I can um, but that and then also just like staying true to myself when everything happened with my mom this year it really like it really put life into perspective in general and lame but like um, I would say like more so for me with my mom just because obviously like me and my mom were like this and it just put into perspective to me like she would always just like be herself and stay so true to herself and just like have the best time she was such such a like she was just such a positive happy soul like you wanted to be around her and she just like did what she wanted like she just I don't know how to even like describe it but she just like stayed so true to herself and would just be so accepting of anyone and anything like wouldn't really judge people she just like had such a loving heart and I want to embody more of that I tend to care what people think I like don't care what people think but I do at times too like if I meet people for the first time I like overthink like everything I say and like I don't know I'm I have introverted tendencies and so I want to just like step into myself more and like not really care what people think and stuff so roundabout answer I don't really know you had to keep one what would you choose beer wine or pizza that's hard honestly I could give up pizza because I could just eat like spaghetti lasagna things like that Beer or wine, I'd probably give up wine because I love going to breweries and like, I feel like beer goes with more things like a football game or like going to a baseball game or like the beach. So I'd have to say beer, which is kind of ridiculous actually, but I'd probably say beer. I feel like I have it the most out of all three. Any gift ideas for girlfriend and sister, LOL check my holiday gift guide it's linked down below how was your thanksgiving it was great we spent it with like 20 total of our friends in and out throughout the day and we had it here we hosted it i have a whole video on it it was really really special and it was nice because the holidays have been tough and it was like nice to host it and kind of distract myself a little and like just like have a great day with my friends. So it was honestly amazing. One of my favorite holidays ever. Um, what's your favorite part of the holidays? I'm going to answer this as if my life is just normal this year. Um, I would just have to say like the presence of it. Like I feel like life used to be different when like our generation was young. And like as we've gotten older and social media has become more of a thing, like I just don't feel like people stay in touch the same way because it's like you can watch what everyone's doing on social media and I personally miss that. I love like family time. I love like close friend time. Like I love like phones away, like just be present. And I feel like I feel like holidays are one of the few things that like we still find that in. Like obviously people like have their phones out and stuff more than we used to because we didn't used to have them, but I feel like people are people put the effort into like really see each other around the holidays and that's definitely probably my favorite thing that and just like the coziness of like a big sweater the fireplace on football game on glass of wine spaghetti I love spaghetti cookies yeah any wedding planning updates nah 
nothing. I got engaged if you guys um, are newer here, like you just like weren't here even back then. Um, me and Ben got engaged, ironically, on my parents' wedding anniversary. He had no idea he was doing that. Um, March 30th of this year. I have a whole video on it. I'll link it down below. It was so special. Yeah, everything happened with Lane in May then. And so it was just like, the last thing on our mind really this year was our wedding and it's like kind of hard for me to plan because like I always envisioned myself doing so much of it with my mom and Lane was going to be Ben's best man so like it's just like emotional and like I know it's going to be kind of hard to start planning it I just haven't felt ready but I'm also like okay like it's almost been a year so like we should probably at least like look at venues while we're home for Christmas or something. You no, know, I literally, I know, we kind of know like who our bridesmaids and groomsmen are gonna be. We know we're getting married in Pennsylvania. That's literally it. What do you miss most about living up north? I miss the seasons. I feel like anyone that moves down south would say that. Like I miss, I miss it changing to fall and I actually really miss it changing to spring. Like you guys know that feeling in the air where like everyone's like happy and there's just like, there's this like buzz in the air, like everyone knows it's getting nice out. I miss that, I miss back roads, um, like just like through the woods and stuff, totally miss that. I miss like the like homey vibe. I know there's like places in Florida that are like more homey and stuff, but like where we are in South Florida, it's more like the materialistic fast paced kind of life. And I miss like, yeah, like the house that's like a mile into the woods and just like, I don't know, you guys know what I mean? Like just slower pace, like going to a little cafe on the side of the road for breakfast type thing. Yeah. What's the best gift you have ever been given for Christmas? So I actually did see this the other day and I thought about it, so I already have my answer, but my parents, I played basketball growing up, loved basketball, missed basketball like so freaking much. And when I was like seven, my parents got me like an at home, like arcade basketball thing. I, <laughs> I still wish my dad kept it up in the house. He made me take it down like two years ago because he wanted to turn it into another guest room, like that room. I'm like still mad that he took it down. I would play that thing every single day. Literally, I'm 27, so he took it down two years ago until I was 25. I'd still be playing it, but that was the best gift. And I was really good at shooting in high school, not to like, I'm not trying to be like overly confident or anything. That was just like my thing. Like I definitely was, that was like my strongest point was shooting. And I genuinely think it was because of that arcade game. Honestly. Do you have any funny holiday traditions? Um, not really for Christmas or Christmas Eve. Our family's always been pretty traditional, like Christmas Eve party, chill Christmas morning, great breakfast, like a nice Christmas dinner, presents, etc. Um, but for Easter, we we do have, I mean, this is kind of off topic of Christmas, but we do have a funny holiday holiday tradition for Easter. I don't know if this is like a thing anyone else does, but we have an egg battle. So we go to like my dad's family in Pittsburgh and there on average would be maybe like 10 to 12 of us per year, including like little kids and stuff too. Each like family, so like this aunt and uncle, my grandma, like my mom and dad, like, everyone would bring a carton of eggs or two or three. I think maybe it was like a carton per person or something, which we all didn't like to waste or don't like to waste eggs, but like it was just always a tradition. So you dye the eggs, everyone shows up with dyed eggs, everyone shows up with an egg with their name on it. And then you like go around the table and you like, I'll put a video. We always make like a whole like bracket as if it's like March Madness and you like have to smash like round side of the egg to round side of the egg and then like pointy is against pointy and like whoever has like the last standing egg like wins the egg battle. I don't know if this is like a thing or not. I don't know where it came from when it started, but we've done it every year my whole entire life. Um, it's so fun and it's like really funny, but I'll put a video. Let me know if any of you guys do anything or if you have like any funny traditions, feel free to comment on any of this down below. Will you ever do a Happy Fit OGs retreat? I absolutely love this question. Um, so I kind of was planning on doing one in 2020 and then everything happened um, with like the world. So obviously I couldn't do anything and I don't know where people are with like, I, at the time, I didn't know like how strict everyone else was. Like I knew where I stood, but like I didn't know where everyone else was. So I just didn't feel comfortable hosting it in 2020. This year was like a whirlwind, obviously. And so this upcoming year, I have one cool idea to do my first retreat for the launch of something I'm launching. <gasps> oh my God, that scared me so bad. Gosh, a burglar. <laughs> Um, 
You want to try my drink? It's strong. It's champagne forward. Champagne forward, okay. Oh, no. that's delicious. Yeah, it's great. Oh, that's yeah. gonna tune you up. I know. That's. I've literally had this much, and I'm getting hot. <laughs> I better go finish my work. Okay. Yeah. So I was, yeah, I was planning on doing it in 2020, and now I'm planning on doing it 2022. I have an idea of doing it with the launch of something I'm launching this upcoming year, which would be so fun. That would be perfect. I just. I don't know if it'll land properly because the re I would want to do the retreat here and in the summer it would just be like not fun for anybody so I want to do it in the spring or the fall. So we will see but I definitely want to do one in 2022. It'll probably be only like open to maybe like 20 girls and I'll probably rent like a huge like mansion in Fort Lauderdale. Um, or somewhere around here and it'll be like a health and wellness like two or three day retreat I kind of have like the whole thing like outlined already and like envisioned in my head It's gonna be amazing. But yeah, I will definitely be doing a retreat hopefully in 2022 spring or fall and realistically when I say that out loud fall makes way more sense because the spring is like right around the corner gift ideas for boyfriend in later 20s that has everything again Check out my gift guide at the beginning of the videos about like a uh, boyfriend and then dad. So I don't know. It is hard though. Guys are hard. You don't like you can always just like opt out for getting like clothes or like shoes and stuff. But it's like it's kind of like boring. I don't know. But like not boring if it's something they need. But I don't know. Check the video out. It'll definitely be helpful. What are your top things that you're asking for this year? Check the gift guide. What are your plans for Christmas? So usually we would go up north and then Christmas Eve, my mom's side of the family, my parents were divorced, um, but they only lived like three, four minutes from each other and they were always like super civil and close. So that was like really nice. But we would go to my mom's family's Christmas Eve party. Um, so fun, so much good food, always a blast. I've gone there since I was like this big. Um, and then Christmas night, I would stay at my dad's. She would drop me off, stay at my dad's. Christmas morning would be with my dad. Christmas afternoon and night would be with my mom and family. And she would make dinner and stuff. This year is very different, obviously, in every way possible. It's also different because my aunt can't do the Christmas Eve party this year. Um, just like stuff happened and like she just like can't host it. So that in itself is so weird because I've never not done that except last year. And then I was hoping to like be able to be with my aunt and uncle who would always come to my mom's, my mom's sister. Um, but my cousin, her daughter is like super pregnant and will be, she will be super pregnant at Christmas. So she can't leave Boston. So they're going to Boston. So it's literally gonna be me, Ben and my dad on Christmas Eve and Christmas day. My dad is um, like, they're not married, but they've been together for like 11 years. Her name is Mary, but she lives like an hour away um, cause she like helps take care of her mom and stuff. So she's gonna be with her family. It's just like a whole thing, but yeah, it's literally gonna be me, my dad and Ben. And honestly, we're just gonna make the best of it. We're making lasagna cause that's what I made for my mom last Christmas. And we'll probably just like hang out, have some drinks, watch football, play some games. Um, it's gonna be weird, but at the same time, like, I think it'll be, at first I was like, at first I was kind of like, nothing wrong with that, but like, it, it's just weird to not be with my family, like my whole family. And now I'm kind of like, maybe this is good because I don't have to like hold any emotions in or anything. I can just like feel what I need to feel, do what I need to do. So that is that. So that's where I'm gonna wrap this video up. I answered all of the holiday questions. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to give us a thumbs up. If you want me to do more of these, make like, I guess like a better drink. I mean, no, this is genuinely good. It's just really strong. I would just say like, maybe don't do the champagne and do club. Like I'm literally, I'm not even kidding, tipsy. Like, I'm like really shampoo. But anyway, if you guys wanna see more like this, comment down below, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Instagram if you don't already. And without further ado, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.